Waiting for someone to redevelop the blighted and abandoned Navy base on Poland Avenue has been like a long train ride to nowhere for Bywater neighbors. Lately, they've noticed people bringing bikes into the city-owned complex. Drone video shows dozens of bike frames, wheels, and other bike parts in piles in the middle of a tent city on the old basketball and tennis courts. Neighbors wonder if it's a chop shop for stolen bicycles. That doesn't surprise me a bit. I'm sure there's a lot more in there than bicycles. I don't know what they're doing in there. There's generators in there. People live in there. Some neighbors suspect people are getting what they can for the bike parts and selling the rest as scrap metal. Desiree Biamonte and her husband own Jack Dempsey's restaurant across the street from the base. It's a free for all. All hours, day, night, there's people going in and out, vagrants, they've pretty much taken over. Bob Peterson spends a lot of time visiting a friend in the neighborhood. It's like a little city in there, and I don't know who's keeping an eye on it. Obviously, no one. One man who didn't want to show his face says not everyone living in the old complex is a criminal. Some of us that uh, have gotten out of jail or uh, been uh, displaced, we found a home here temporarily. And yes, it is drugs and guns, but also don't forget that we are here as well. Earlier this month, developer Joe Yeager told members of the Bywater Neighborhood Association that he has plans to build 300 affordable housing units here at the old Navy base. Neighbors asked him to start by securing the complex, but as you can see, the gates are still wide open. It's pitch black back there, and I've heard generators going on back there, so if anything, to secure it. In the Bywater, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.